yeah, I like the place to order for a couple of wrestling round t-shirts. Okay. Yeah. Alright, yeah, this one, yeah, I need about a good 500 to start off with. Oh, you all throwing business cards with those also? Alright. Uh, hold on, hold on for a second. Hey, what's up, A-Train? Yeah, give me one second. I got the t-shirt people on the other line. Give me one second. Hello? Alright, yeah, so that's just a couple t-shirts. Alright, thank you. A-Train, what's going on? What? You just said somebody tried to come for me. Mike Knox. And yeah, I, I saw some dude named Mike Knox was following me, but I was just thinking that was the guy from the WWE, you know, the one who Val Venus was saying that um, Molina was cheating on John Morris and what. But you're saying there's a, another Mike Knox. Alright. Let me check this out. Wow, are you serious? This is so much copyright infringement in this. Yeah, I ain't got time for this right now. This will be addressed. But let me let you know something. I'm going to stand up for the family name, and I'm going to stand up for the wrestling realm, the BWO. Get the heck out of here. Viewers discretion advised when I come back, because it's going to be something serious. Yeah, that's right. I said viewer's discretion is advised because you do not come at Mr. Main Event B-Dub like that ever again. What you have in front of you is what a million dollar man, huh, the million dollar thug, Mike Knox, is all about. Championship gold. Look here, people, and take a look at the one and only... Mike Knox. Three X's. Cause I am hardcore. You see the knock. What you have in front of you is what a million dollar man, huh, the million dollar thug, Mike Knox is all about. Championship gold. Look here, people, and take a look at the one and only Mike Knox. Three X's, cause I am hardcore. You see the Knox 3000 in front of you? People, this is not a game. Shots out to the man who just inspired me to come back to wrestling like no other. Prime time, main event, B-Dub. Listen here, my friend. You want a promo battle? Then a promo battle you shall have. When it comes to this wrestling thing and the quote as you like to put it, wrestling matters let me tell you what wrestling is all about it's about championship gold and no one has more titles than the co-founder of the BWO Mike Knox my championships speak for themselves my accolades speak for themselves primetime B-Dub listen here when you want to talk does wrestling matters it's all about one thing and one thing only what the people want. And yeah, I heard you quote your friend as being the most electrifying. Please do me a favor and stop biting my name. I am now and forever will be the most electrifying man in sports talk radio. And next to me, there can only be one other. That's Wise Shabazz, the one we call Wise. Now, if you want the BWO and all our shining glory to come at you, then I just start off with the Wolf Pack. Yeah, not a one man Wolf Pack, but the Wolf Pack. The Outsiders, the real Scott Hall, the real Big Sexy. No broke back, if you will, so to speak. Listen here wrestling matters, and it matters one time in one place only. The best damn show in radio each and every single Saturday night at 6 30 p.m. where the barber shop is open for business. You wanna talk wrestling? You want to talk Chicago made punk? But before there was a Chicago made punk, Chicago made Mike Knox. Wrestling matters? Please, come find out who really knows about wrestling and why it matters. TBS? Yes. AWA? Yes. WCW? Yes. 
WCCW, yes, ECW, Ring of Honor, it doesn't matter. It's about the B. Yeah, I gotta address somebody real quick. Yeah, this guy, he call himself Mr. Mike Knox. So let me get back to you, all right? Yeah, Mike Knox. Now, when I first heard that a guy named Mike Knox was coming after me, I thought it was Mike Knox from the WWE. You know, the guy who had the big old beard, who failed as a wrestler, failed as a character, the entire gimmick failed. Why in the world would you name yourself Mike Knox? Name yourself after a failed gimmick. Now you call yourself a million dollar thug? For real. What is a million dollar thug? It wouldn't even, if you want to be a thug, why would you have a million dollars? If you have a million dollars, why would you want to be a thug? Look at me. I'm from the streets of Baltimore, baby. Bring it back around here. Bring it back around here. I'm from the streets of Baltimore. You know what we do? The wrestling realm, we worry about involving the people. Your little group, the BWO? Are you serious? What in the world is the BWO? Last time I remember, the BWO was the Blue World Order from ECW, a copycat gimmick that was a parody for the NWO. Oh, and speaking of the NWO, you call yourself the Wolfpack. Now, the BWO, the Wolfpack is a part of the BWO. Yeah, how much does that make sense? The, you know, you talk about you got the real Scott Hall and the real Kevin Nash. Where's the originality, brother? You know, I see a lot of copyright infringement going on. Come on here with your belt. You know, your John Cena spinner Rooney belt. Your US title spinner belt. Your WWE spinner belt. And you come up here and come with your million dollar belt. Okay, those are, those are fine, but if you're supposed to be the man with all these belts, where are the belts that's prestigious? Show me the WWE Championship. Show me the real world title. One that's not spray point, spray painted on that you did yourself. How much sense does that make? Mike Knox, Mike Knox, Triple X, because I'm hardcore. Are you, Triple X? Look, dog. I don't get down with all that Triple X stuff. If that's some type of porn name, you know, because that's what the domain is if you have a porn site to warn, warn small children that they're not supposed to be on those sites. Triple X, Triple X because you're hardcore. There's nothing hardcore about you, dog. You know, then you want to attack my family? Attack my man, A-Train, you know? I sat up there, your promo, it's nice, it's cool. The Jarratron 3000. Another, I mean, excuse me, the Knox 3000. Another copyright gimmick, copying off the Jarratron. I, I, dog, really, come on now, you gonna bring it, then bring it, you know. And then you got your little fans out there, part of the BWO, uh, Hamil Lopez, Jamil, Jumper Jamil, whatever you want to call yourself, Marcus Black, you know. You guys, you, you don't even deserve a mention, you know. Y'all want to come at us, you know, because the wrestling realm, we, yes, wrestling does matter to us. We are true wrestling fans. And, you know, you want to come at a wrestling fan all because I take great passion into what I do. When I get behind the camera, I take it seriously. Because, yes, this is a big deal to me. Wrestling is a big deal to me. Talking about wrestling is a big deal to me. And you want to come back and attack me? You know what? Your promo was nice. But you're a little amateur. Save it for the pros. Me and the real Dwayne Allen. And then, speaking of which, you know... I just want to let people know, y'all Y'all saw his little promo. So I get on this clown's talk show, and I call him up, you know, trying to support, support support the brother out there. Nice little talk show, but every freaking time I was being interrupted. How are you going to interrupt me every time I look? The Rock's music was playing. The NWO's music was playing. The Wolfpack's music was playing. Now you want to interrupt me with other people's music? No, it don't work that way. You know, Kevin Dunn might end up soon. It's just stuff you just don't do. You know, you come at me, but you don't have no originality. You know, you stand up there, come out with your white beater on, your, your, your long hooping shorts. Yeah, I'm about to cut a promo. It's not, I'm not supposed to take you serious. You know, all that junk in your background. You know, but you call yourself a million dollar thug, but you stand and you hiding behind closed doors. Look at me, you know? Look at me. Look at me. You see, I'm in the streets of Baltimore. 
you know, the proud streets of Baltimore, where I grew up. Every day, I come walk through these streets. You know, I'm not ashamed that I like professional wrestling because what people teased me about before only lit a fire in me. Makes me proud. Makes me get up every day when I think about wrestling. And when I have a hater out there like you, all you did was light a fire up under the wrestling realm that I don't even think the world is ready to deal with.